Welcome everyone to our Chalagas podcast and our guest today is Brenda Ons. Hi everyone, how are you doing? So our Chalagas podcast is to help small businesses step on the gas and ramp themselves up to the next level. And so we have our special guests each week who are either subject matter experts and or organizations that support small businesses. So I have asked Brenda here today to talk about social media, but not from the perspective of something specific because we can search YouTube and we can find lots of very uh, handy videos there. But I wanted to have her talk from a business owner's perspective, just using social media in general, encouraging new businesses or startup businesses to, to get out there and how important it is to do social media and some of her t tips and ideas on how she has managed to take two businesses and really blow them up very quickly. So with that well hello thank you so <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for inviting me here today um it's always exciting to see you you are doing a wonderful job for Southside yeah. first i just I want to thank you for all that you're thank doing you, you. and I really want to thank you for bringing me here today because it's things like this that we're talking about social media <laughs> so social media really really does go a long way there's so many people that they don't think about it no and the re one of the reasons I wanted to ask you here is because I see you know you got women unlimited I guess we should tell people what you do so <laughs> let's start she, with that yeah she's the owner of saving our way which is a couponing money saving class she's been doing for let's see I got this right 13 years that's right. And she works with the Express News and the Houston Chronicle, and she gives classes. And so she's just the coupon guru of San Antonio and Houston. And then she also is the founder of Women Unlimited, which is a fantastic networking <clears throat> organization, which you'll hear about at the end of the show because they're also our sponsors. So <laughs> we'll get into more detail with that. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but one of the things I notice at these networking events is that we've got the women who show up, since it's a women's group. And they show up and the first time, you know, usually people, you know, networking is awkward and they stand there and they're shy and they're watching everybody talk about their businesses and all this. And <clears throat> of course you get them over it pretty quick because you'll put the selfie stick in the camera in front of their face and you'll say, mm -hmm. okay, tell me what you do. And it's mm -hmm. almost like you're taking them and shoving them into the pool, right? Throw the kid in the pool mm -hmm. kind of thing. <clears throat> and then the next time I see these ladies, they are like all over it with their phones and they're talking about their businesses. And I'm like, wow. So you have this ability to fast forward people and just to get a, get over yourself kind of a thing. So talk to us a little bit about <clears throat> what advice do you have for a small business that's starting out and or somebody who's been established for a while but they don't really s do social because media. Because definitely you're right because I'm, I'm talking to so many people so um, it doesn't matter if uh, you guys are brand new you know to your business or if you've been in business for you know a long time um it is the same question that is coming to me and this this is the question this is big here and they're like hey brenda love my business love what i do i have you know like amazing um products that i want to put out there and then they're doing this but but i'm thinking what else can i do to start getting people in the door you know, I, a lot of them, I have my own place, they're telling me, you know, hey, I'm over here near the mall, and you know, uh, my uh, boutique is absolutely beautiful, no one is walking in, what else can I do? So then I start asking them about, well, how's your social media going? Are you on Instagram? Are you on, you know, Facebook? Um, do you have a website? There, there's just, there's so many things that they can do that they're like, well, what happened is I've put so much time and effort into my business, you know, on, on just beautifying everything that they are selling that they're like, what, what do you mean by like, did I put it on social media? Like some people, they're so brand new, they have not thought about social media. They have not thought about Facebook. They have not thought about Instagram. And the reason why, at the end of the day, after the conversation, they're nervous. They have anxiety over it. Well, it's, it's what the people. The worst thing is people don't want to speak in public, kind of a thing. Right. right? They they don't want to speak. So why should they open up all this social media? Because there's a little fear there. Right. Now they still believe in their business, but I teach you to get over that fear. And I do. I do several things. And one thing I definitely want to put out there is we teach media classes okay. here for awesome. Women Unlimited. We can totally help you guys out with that. Um, and and yes, sometimes. Um, social media does um, you know cause a little anxiety but we kind of give you those those tips because at the end of the day the uh, some of those tips are do you want to grow 
Right. Step outside of the box of what your norm is. Right. Step mm -hmm. outside of your box and come to our classes that we have here at Women Unlimited and let us teach you. Let us teach you what's working for us. Right. We are all about social media. I personally, like Linda was saying, I have two different businesses. I have over 200,000 uh, followers on social media. And I, for me, I want to say, oh, that was easy. But I get that it's not. You know, I get that the, for so many people, they're like, Brenda, I just, they're looking up the word Facebook. You know, yeah. there, there's some people that you're going to talk to that really have not heard of what type of social media is out there. Because like I said, they're, which one? they're busy, you know, at the shop, right. ordering. Uh, we are teaching a lot of people there's someone that they knit. Like, it, it, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of what people are doing, it, it takes them a, some time to get their product out. So they're like, social media is going to take so much time. And it turns out right now we're on social media. We are right. on Facebook. Right. We just used our phone. Well, first of all, we have a, a, our group for Facebook. We have our uh, we have our Instagram. You can go live on Instagram. You can go live on Facebook with your phone. Now, right. I'm talking three year olds have phones, okay? Three year olds have phones. Everyone Ten year olds has... have millions of followers on TikTok. <laughs> yes, on yes. TikTok, so everyone has a phone, and that is all you need. And just try to get in the comfort zone of your business. You believe in your business. You want to talk about your business. Your business is what makes us happy. And, and usually, like we spoke to the sweet lady who's our concha sponsor, and, and you know, I, oh, I'm just afraid of, you know, I don't want to reveal a personal stuff, but you're afraid of talking in front of people. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You're cute. You're adorable. People would love you. Yes. So it's, it's not, you have to get over your own hangups or your up. own whatever that is about social media. Just get over yourself because you need to understand there's people out there that want to know what you have to do. And right. if you never open your mouth and you never share it, then they're never going to know. So like Bill Gates once said years and years ago, he goes, there's two types of businesses. Those who do business on the internet and those who go out of business. And I really think there's something to be said for that. I want to write that down. That's a good one. <laughs> that is Gates. a great one. Can you please say that again? Because So there's two types of businesses right. in this day and age, and it's getting more and more this way, is the businesses who do business on the internet and those who go out of business. That is true. <laughs> and I wanted you to repeat that because there's a lot of people that is telling me, especially after COVID, we went out of business. Mm -hmm. But I'm opening a new business. But I need to do something. Because it's a new business, I can't afford all this high price advertising. What is it can I do? So we just tell them, please come to our next social media class and we can give you the answers. So definitely, I love, I have come to love social media because it could be, just think outside the box, it could be one of the most easiest thing for you to do because with social media, um, you can be home and you can talk about your product. Yes. You can be anywhere and talk and about your say, product. Yeah, but I don't have any followers, I gotta build a following. Well, if you're a woman, and you don't even have to be in San Antonio. If you join the Women Unlimited group, there's 11,000 women. There's like 6,000 who are in it and, and 5,000 who are trying to figure out how to get in it. <laughs> for visitors. But the yeah. idea is, is that, you know, it's a safe space, right? Everybody loves everybody. You can advertise your business and you just throw it out there. Um, and so, if Brenda, instead of what I love about this, if you're a local woman and you can make it to the weekly Thursday networking, right? Uh, if Brenda sees you and she hasn't seen your face before, she's going to throw you in this pool. But what I love about it is you don't just push them in the pool. You actually grab their hand and you jump in the pool with them because you're like, okay, here let's you go, go, let's go. And yes. they're just kind of like, oh, and they just have no choice but to start talking. And once they get past that, I think that's all it takes. And because you're not doing it alone, a lot of people right. get past that because like you said we are literally holding you by the hand and we are teaching you now we also teach get this the power of the selfie stick the power of the selfie stick i know that i was at an event with you linda and i said i want a picture with the mayor and i was like where is the where is the power of my selfie stick? Let me get that like, out of here, my mayor. purse. Come here, come here, come yes. here. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, the mayor like, was like, selfie stick, and I said. Oh, he's like, okay. Yeah, he and how I did that is when people see that you are holding a selfie stick, 
First of all, they think you're channel four or five, right? Because they're like, who's this person holding a selfie stick? What I did is I just handed it to the mayor oh, of go. San Antonio. And he's like, what are we doing? I said, just press on the button. We're taking a picture. So he's we were like, able, oh. and he did it. We got a picture of him taking a picture of, of him and us together. Remember that? Yeah. And he was like, well, this is really cool. And what was even crazier is that he doesn't remember my name, but he's like selfie oh, girl, yeah, you're that selfie one. stick and the girl. Next time we saw it was like him selfie stick port, girl. Yeah. San Antonio. He's like, oh yeah, you're the one with that selfie stick. <laughs> so hey, if nothing else, there the you power, go. The power, the power of, of the selfie, selfie stick. stick. And so we are also going to explore doing some uh, biz technical workshops like the Achalagas, but it's going to be more on the business side. We've got a, a, a big. Uh, organization on the south side we're hoping to team up with on that because it's business tech and the idea Love is uh, we can do more technical things and so when we do the selfie stick the power of the, the, power selfie, of the stick, selfie stick you'll be our instructor yeah right I'll now. be I'll, I'll be there I'll be there <laughs> the thing is it's little gadgets like that it's very inexpensive you can go to Amazon you can go to Walmart and get one for five dollars you know ten dollars right. um, the thing is you definitely just want again thinking outside the box and, and it's okay because we're only human to feel that anxiety when you are doing something new. But is it really outside the box for to it really, a selfie stick? It's a matter of becoming comfortable. That's becoming what it familiar is. Familiar with what's that's what it is. You're familiar with hiding and not being yes. on there. So you have to become familiar with being in front of the camera and make the hiding thing unfamiliar because it's just a matter of if you've got an accounting system and if you've got a customer service system and you've got a cash register and you've got square, You've got to do social media. I mean, it's just right up there. With well, but that's else. what I'm saying. There's a lot of people that we're talking to that are saying, well, I just never thought about doing that. They just never, they're mm -hmm. inside, you know, their um, place of business and, you know, they're, they're there and they're, and, and the thing is, I'm like, have you ever thought about doing lives inside, you know, your yeah, business? Well, Say that she's selling clothing. Mm -hmm. Well then, and you have no customers. And at that time, bring in customers by going live. Now here at Women Unlimited for $50 for the hour, you can talk about your business all you want for one hour. Again, it's $50. You guys are gonna go live in front of 13,000 people. Now this is gonna be the best $50 you have ever now, this spent. this is $50 to come here. To come for one hour at the Women Unlimited <laughs> headquarters. This is our media room. So you're going to be in this media room like you are, like we are today, and you're going to go live in front of 13,000 people like, right. like we are. Right. Now, um, your show goes live mm -hmm. in our group for Women Unlimited. So we are being seen and we, uh, right. just by so many people, and we have no idea. Hopefully everyone sees the value of this show. Please do us a favor and press share. Because by you pressing share, you help grow our businesses. So this is what happens when and you helps come other in. People find you as well. So that's, that's another right. Tip, which is right. That, you know, so it's estate, back and forth. In the real estate business, they say the most important thing is location, location, location. And I heard you saying this yesterday. You were like, share, share, share. She always says it three times. So that's kind of the most important thing as far as that is concerned. That's right. Because people are going to see you because you're the one sharing and but if they're interested in the topic they're going to say well who's this person sharing and then you put yourself out there as well that's right so, so we help you you help us when you are a part of that women unlimited and our women unlimited group and again there are so many resources that we are putting out there especially when it comes to social media and again <laughs> Try it at least once, ladies. Try it at least once. And again, we can help you with that when you come here. We are located at 8721 Bots Lane. We are upstairs in the med spa. The med spa is to the left and Women Unlimited headquarters is to the right. But I thought this was a great show. When me and you talked about it, this is exactly though, I mean, I am talking to women, uh, own business day in and day out and this is a huge thing that we are talking about um business is adding social media in a bigger way in a bigger way to help grow their business and it's just about getting over yourself really it's not about you just remember it's not about you it's people are looking for that information the internet is a big huge place and and the other excuse i was going the other thing the excuse doesn't hold water is if you're saying oh i'm a home based business based business and i bake or whatever or I knit. Uh, no excuse for saying, well, my house isn't cleaned up because some of the best YouTubers on the planet who, on the planet who make tons of money 
are doing it in their bedroom and the beds aren't made and they got dirty clothes on the floor. So there's no excuse. <laughs> No excuse for, for doing a live from your house. That's right. <clears throat> and totally, you got more of the comfort zone, but then I have talked to people that said, well, it's at my house, so I don't want to do the live because it's at... I was like, but are you comfortable? She's, oh, I'm very comfortable at my house. Okay, mm -hmm. then. then. Then because your nerves aren't so wound up because you're home, you're relaxing more, it's <laughs> just a simple conversation. <laughs> Um, you don't have anyone in front of you but your phone, and you're just kind of talking in the air about what you love. And keep it simple. I think a lot of people yes. might think about these TikTok creators and Instagram creators who videotape a five-hour project, and then they cut and paste and create this really cool video. You don't even have to do that. You can just go live and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I'm baking conchas, or I'm baking cupcakes today, and you can these are my ingredients, this is what I'm baking, so tune in in about a couple hours, because I'll go live again, and I'll show you how that looks. I mean, it's as simple as that. Just, so keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it, don't overthink it, Just it's better to just do it. In the worst case, if it's nasty and you can't stand it, then you can always just delete it. It is really that easy. Yeah. You take your finger and you press the delete button. That's all you're going to do. Everybody's got one of these. Hopefully. If not, you know, you got to Let's know. see, we have 10. <laughs> no, but it really is. I love social media because you're right. If you do put something out and you kind of, you'll, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh, maybe I should have this, this, that, whatever that is. You're right. You could always delete that video. And then the great thing is you can do it again. And then you say, well, I don't wear makeup. Well, put the filter on. I don't do filters at all, but, you know, put the filter on. You got all that <laughs> fancy stuff nowadays. I don't know if, if Facebook has filters. They should, but. <clears throat> so there's really no excuse. So you've actually covered all of our topics here. But anyway, um, what advice would you have? I know you've already talked. Any additional advice you would have with small business owners? And maybe not so much <clears throat> social media, share, 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 and use your video. Yes. But as far as getting exposure and, and magnifying and leveraging your social media out there. Yes, my, my thing is, and, and I'm going to take from all of my conversations, and honestly, the biggest thing that I am hearing when it comes to, it, it's, you know, I'm not sure if I want to do the social media, honestly, is I'm nervous. The butterflies in my stomach. Uh, the one girl said, I don't know what happened. I turned on the air, and you know what she started doing? Kind of twitching. She, she, she said, I don't know what happened. Well, Why was I twitching? A, if I put my business coaching hat yes. on, right, my coaching mm -hmm. hat, it says, mm -hmm. change the word nervous to excited. There you go. Because, you know, as a that's performer, as exactly a where I was gonna, going with you're this. You're going to feel that, and that's good, because that says you're getting ready to do something that's exciting instead that's of right. saying, oh, my God. Right, and so just change the word. That's right. Just there. change your whole mentality. Right. That's exactly where I was going, because then she said, "You know what? I took a step back, and I she breathed, you know, three, four times, and she said, no one is here with me.' She just <laughs> told herself, "No one is here. I can't delete this video if it doesn't go well." <laughs> I, this wasn't even a lie. This was just a recording. She was just doing a recording, but she was saying, <laughs> well, um, you know, she <laughs> said. Believe I, I that she just took a step back and said, I believe in myself. I believe in what I do. I love my brand. I love the product. And like you said, you just kind of, it's okay, ladies, to talk to yourself for, you know, a, a, a second. Be your biggest cheerleader. Yeah, be right? your biggest cheerleader. <laughs> and when you just put yourself in that zone of loving who you are, what you do, and where your product is going out to, take that smile take that mentality and go for it <clears throat> put your smile mm -hmm. on now what i do is i love what i do so that's why i always have a smile and sometimes before my lives or before my videos i don't know if you've ever noticed but i i, I go into the zone of really loving women unlimited and what women it's unlimited is all it. about <laughs> and and it does it makes me smile and i want to laugh a little because i'm like oh my god i'm doing wonderful things and with that your smile comes out and and your confidence comes out be confident about what you sell be confident in who you are now i know i've talked to many people that said I'm confident but a little shy I'm just a little shy and I said no one's in front of you so you're good right, you know right, nothing right. to be shy about <laughs> right. again you know just take your product 
the love of your product and just just talk about it many of us i'm not reading from anywhere uh when we are talking about women unlimited oh, yeah. because i love women unlimited right. we are doing many many things so are you so are you when it comes to your product so for a lot of you it's right here already you don't even have to look down and say what were my notes <clears throat> feel comfortable with your product feel comfortable about what you're selling um, try to think about how it's making other people feel when they buy your product that's gonna give you the smile it's gonna give you the confidence and it's it you're gonna want to talk about it and definitely that's where social media comes from right when me and linda sat here she says hey brenda get ready this podcast we're just going to have a conversation we're just going to have a conversation we're going to do it live but we're going to have I a mean, conversation you and I could talk about stuff for three days and this is just how we do things but the other thing so two more things one is that somebody may think well, yeah but I'm, my business is new my business is new well it doesn't matter they don't know if you've been in business for 10 years or five years <clears throat> yeah so you don't have to, to a lot tell of times them. i think with people with talent or businesses or musicians or whatever they they that always feel true. like they're trying to turn that corner and arrive and if you always have that mindset you're always going to be like well yeah sort of kind of no no you've arrived if you have the business and you're doing it you have arrived you've turned the corner so act like congratulate it. yourself and if all else fails if you know brenda um just channel your inner brenda and say well what would brenda do and if, <laughs> if brenda's turn, not going to give up brenda's well, going to do it three to times be, if you have to because that's yeah. enough, it's okay oh, yeah. it's okay mm -hmm. to do it again right. and again right. Right. until your comfort zone comes out with fail it. forward but i think the thing is is if you're too nervous and if all else fails take a deep breath and just pretend you're brenda and then <sighs> just get out there and do it that's right whatever works that's right and and i i apologize because uh, again for me the type of person that i am is i'm always ready to talk so i and i'm saying i apologize because there's a lot of people that they are not talkers you know they go into a room and they kind of hide under a rock they love what they do but um again i just want to point out that no one's in front of you when you are doing a live or when you are right. making a video right. you put yourself in a total comfort zone and then just have a conversation about the business that you love so you would think that my tip would be like oh my goodness and it's all of this and all of that and all of this that you need to do if you love your business if you love what you do try to think about the conversations that you have had with um, you know many of your members or your clients that are purchasing from you think about all the help that you are giving them with your brand and stay in that zone with a smile and go for it right sometimes Linda you just have to run you just have to go for it you have to take um, the challenge right because you are going to do a lot better ladies than you think you are yeah and you don't have to be perfect and it's okay to mess up and that's the great your and beauty and forget your of words. social media you don't have to be and it's okay i think the more authentic it is and if you goof up i mean i think the better it makes it. i have goofed up many times right? and you know what happens i just keep going yeah. in the same conversation yeah. they don't even know you goofed up half the time <laughs> right. because you just keep going right. so and, and if you pause for a second because you're like oh what was i going to say that's okay too you know taking a pause is fine keep going you do not have to turn off the phone because you think you have to be perfect and you don't have to fill every second silence is a good thing as long as you're not filling it with uh <laughs> right and then I, I was thinking when you were saying about you love to talk there's a whole new niche uh, niche of social media marketing called social media marketing for introverts because there's a whole group of people myself included <clears throat> who we just it takes energy to do stuff like this and we'd rather just not do it right right and right. so <clears throat> the idea is how how do you help those people do it because everything you're saying there may be still some people going yeah that's great but I ain't doing that that's <laughs> right 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 but see my my thing and what I want to tell you is that you may fail the first time again that's okay and people are afraid to fail right okay. like and that's the that's the biggest okay. thing for so many people <clears throat> so i know that i was talking to another person because you know i talked to many and she was just saying brenda and i wasn't going to say the story but i got you're right i have to tell the story she just said i i felt like an epic failure 
because mm -hmm. I, I, she was just trying to get a live out on her brand. Okay. That's all she, she was just trying to get a live out um, on her brand, you know, that she sells. And, you know, she ended up doing it like four or five times and just said, I, you know what, I can't do this. And my anxiety level, it's just like really, really high. And, and she said, but you know what? I, I, I told myself, I'm just, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to walk out. But guess what happened? She couldn't stop thinking about it. She couldn't stop thinking about it because she knew herself. She's not a failure. She has quitter. this great, she's not a quitter. And she has this great brand. She's ready to put it out there. Sometimes it is okay for you to take that break. Take yes. the break. If you right. need, because your anxiety are high, uh, you're not used to coming up to the camera, you're not used to really talking with people, again, stick to the mission. The mission is to help grow you. And that's what she was saying. Right. My mission right. is I needed to get more people in the door. I have a family. I have kids. Right. I, I knew that this was the way to do it. I am looking at Brenda all day long. And, you know, I just didn't want to be Brenda. I wanted to be myself. I knew that I could do this. I am not a failure. She came back to her room two and a half hours later. For two and a half hours, she was just thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking know, about it. For her. And she went back in there, one shot done. There you go. One, <clears throat> one shot, she was done. Plus, if you're a startup organization or if you haven't done a lot, okay, she could have failed five times on the live, but guess what? Nobody may have turned it on anyway. Because <laughs> she's just starting out. Nobody knows she's doing it yet. So if you're going to fail, the Early on is when you want to fail, right? And so there's no such thing as failure, right? But it's, it's, it's okay failure. to be scared. It's okay <laughs> to be nervous because we really, we are only human and right. and someone else can't stop you from who you naturally are. But you, you could, you personally, you personally could do something about it. Right. You were not always on social media. Right. And like you said, you are that person. Here you are with your own show. Just want to no, point that we're out. Talking one Just day want to we're point like, hey, that let's out. Let's do a radio show. And then we're doing a radio show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a jump in first kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> but the other thing is, too, is, is they might be surprised. You do that live, and next thing you know, you don't know who you're inspiring. Uh, somebody may come up and say, hey, I saw you do that live, and to them, that's like, oh my God, you just ramped up the perception of your business to a whole that, level. That is true. There's so many people that say, Brenda, oh my goodness, you know, that live that you did really inspired me. And sometimes I'm just, because, I mean, I'm involved in so many things, and I'm not always like, should I put this out? Because I've already talked about this and this. Should I talk? So I just decided everything that I'm doing, I'm just going to put it out too there. too much than not enough, probably. And that is a good tip. Right. That is a great tip. It is better, so more than too little, so that... You can go through everything, um, and what I do is I'll do, oh my God, 10 lives in a week. I'll do 10 lives in a week, and I just kind of let it settle within the feed, and then I know that it's on my feed, and then when I actually need to use it for other projects, I go look for that live. I'm not having to do another live. I go look for that live, and I put it out. Some of us put out our lives or our videos all year long. So ladies, if you're talking about your brand, and you have a really good video of that. All you had to do that do was do that one time. You love this particular video, well, but you can keep sharing it. You can, especially on Facebook, you could keep sharing it, and you could just change the verbiage, right? Right, because you're talking about your brand. But then you can uh, say you're going to have a, a blowout sale. Um, at and you have your it shop. every six months, well, but you don't need to reshoot it. Unless you have new products. So but the other thing I a lot of this, you is when uh -huh. you finish the live, it says, do you want to delete this in 30 days? Don't That's panic. on Facebook. On Facebook, you have to hit that setting, and then you say permanently, never delete this, because that way it's always going to be there. But the other thing, as you advance your business and you get better about things, you may find that as you look at your videos, you may have some sound bites that really define your brand. And you can go back and grab those little snippets and That's put right. those together. Nowadays, they got apps where you can make videos. I mean, <clears throat> a 10-year-old can do it, so I'm pretty sure we can do it. And so the idea is you take those key sound bites and you put those together, and that helps just to reinforce your brand. So. That's right. Now, we are actually live right now, you know, on three devices. And then uh, you guys might not be able to see I have another device, and it's just recording. I am not live. Because what you are talking about, you better believe that it is a great thing to do 
so that you can take your sound bites for whatever it is that you want to do later for the whole year. So I record just to record, right, so that I can grab that. I can put that now on Twitter. I can put that now on Instagram. And then I can share that again on Facebook. So we do teach all of these tips, you know, on social media when it comes to Instagram. We have Instagram classes. We have Facebook classes, especially if you have never done social media before, you definitely want to get to my website at womenunlimitedsa.com. And, you know, go RSVP for all these wonderful things that we are doing. Our mission is to help the business. Doesn't matter if you're small, if you're a returning business from COVID, if you're a really big business, our mission is to help you grow. And we understand that the biggest way to do it is social media. And this is why we are going big, and I mean big, with these classes. Now we have a class today um, that is, um, we have, um, what is the class? Because we have so many CPA. C CPA class. A tax. So your, it's almost tax time. So yeah, it's, it's tax. almost tax time. So we, so you don't know what you are going to find. If you are a small business, then you definitely just want to get either to Eventbrite, start following Women Unlimited, yes, see all that we are doing, or you could just go again to my website at womenunlimitedsa.com. Again, if you're watching us, and a lot of our following is the businesses, you guys really, really want to take advantage of what we are putting out there. And this Thursday thing that happens, the big networking in the closets, this is all free, correct? That's for right. to come for the first time. You don't mm -hmm. have to. There's two things. One, you said it's $50 to have the podcast in the media studio for an hour a, a week, right? But then tell them about the other, for the local women who want to, to be more involved in Women Unlimited and to up your game and to take your business to the next level, tell about what Women Unlimited headquarters has to offer in regards to having your business. Okay. <laughs> so we do have, um, it's called the $50 workspace. And what this is, is it's $50 for the whole entire month. Not every time that you walk in. Uh, a lot of us, we are on a budget. We are small businesses and we are really trying to take, you know, um, our money and, you know, put that back within the business. So for $50 for the whole entire month, uh, you can come in and you can, you know, come in with a client. You can meet your clients here. You can go a, a whole nother, you know, I say up your game by teaching. There's a lot of people that sell brands that it is something that you, you make. By the time you know it, you really never thought about upping your game by teaching a class on what your business is all about. I know that there's a lady that she does reefs. She oh, sells reefs, right. and oh my goodness. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, <laughs> and she's making some big money. But a lot of people are saying, God, I really wish I could do that. And she's like, I'll have a class at the Women Unlimited. I so, think I'll do that. So if I'm paying my $50 here, and I've got the whole month, and I can come in here and meet my clients here, either in the comfortable setting, or if there's an office open, I can sneak in and sit in the office. The, uh, the main meeting room area has free coffee, free tea, free snacks, free all kinds of things you probably want to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great space for that. Uh, there's always women here on Thursday. It's packed. So if you want to meet other business owners and you want to network or collaborate, this is the place for that for the women. But also we have there's a conference meeting space that's huge. It holds what 65 people. 65 to 70 people. So does is that included in 50 dollars? And it is. Is that insane? So how often can we do that? Use that room. Okay. So the 50 dollars again a month. It covers our event room that fits 65 people. You guys um, can have your own event there up to three hours for the month. One so time. one one time now. Well, the, you can take your three hours, and oh, there's people that are coming up. in for a, a, an hour and a half of their own um, event, another hour and a half, two weeks later. Now, we do have three very cozy um, conference rooms. One fits 20 people. You have been in that conference room. <laughs> right. You can have a class there. Um, the conference room, if you just want to have the conference room shut door because you're having a major meeting or you're having some kind of class, it's four hours a month. Um, that you can, you know, schedule with us. Hey, on the 18th, I'm going to have a meeting. On the 15th, I'm going to um, have a class. You have four hours out of the whole entire month. Now, 
do not get confused because you can come in at any time and if there's no one and you want to just work your business and you're on your own and or right. you come in with someone maybe i'm mm -hmm. going to meet linda mm -hmm. i'm going to go to all the conference rooms if there is nobody that booked the conference room no one is in there i'm going to say hey linda come on in let's work here together right. we have a living room area we have all three conference rooms that you can work from we have even the big event room we could have four five ten people working in there at the same time the reason why this was huge for me to put out there is the networking that happens within the time that you are here right. sometimes linda it only takes one person for you to meet to help you to that next level of business by collaborating some way or another and that is the biggest reason why that women unlimited in just one year has oh my god like just <laughs> It is out of control, blown up. But it is a great, out, it's a great out of control. But it's because we are very boots on the ground. We're bringing you in for the fraction of the of a price. You know, it's something that everybody can afford. And guess what it does for you? It really lifts up your confidence. Oh, for yeah. you to come in, have your own office here, it's $50. It's a shared space, of course. It's $50 for the whole entire month. I'm like, what more do you want? I mean, and women are coming from all over. You know, we have a networking thing. I don't know if you're y'all like me. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to this networking thing, Ugh, right? And so, <clears throat> but with this, it's like, oh, I get to go to Women Unlimited today because it's like a, a sisterhood. It's like you're just gonna go hang out with your friends and you're gonna meet new friends. Like today, Bernard's walking down the hall. Hi, you're new. What do you do? What do you do? And she's like, and I was bringing Where? Linda along. I said, Linda, because Linda's very busy. Linda's doing a lot of things. But today, I said, no. I want to introduce Linda to so many beautiful people that that I know it was need, great. needs Linda's help. Though, yes. with so I met, I met several people. I'm like, oh, great. I'd love to have you on the podcast. We don't even charge. She's like, oh my god. So all my clients, you could have them on your podcast. Did you I'm talk like, to yes. them, Linda? <clears throat> I'm like, so your small business clients, if they support small businesses, hook them up. We do it for free. So now she's able to offer our podcast in support of small businesses to her clients, and there's no there's no charge for that. I just got to pre-screen them. But anyway, <laughs> <clears throat> but so I mean, and so that but that's what it's all about. It's all about supporting small businesses. Of course, Southside. That first. is who Women in the Minute <clears throat> is. We don't want to. We want to provide free resources because there are so many resources out there, and so we bring those people in to tell people, hey, this is here. It's it's either free or it's extremely affordable. Fifty dollars a month. For everything that Women Unlimited has for women entrepreneurs, I'm telling incredible. you, people are st they, they they will ask three times in a row. So it's fifty dollars for the whole entire month. Yes, it is. And then they'll say, hold on. So let me see if I got this right. Is it fifty dollars for? For the whole month to use all of the conference rooms to sit in the living room area for the, the free coffee for yeah, the free tea, yeah. For the, yeah. And, and then i'm like yeah you, you better believe it and they're like one more time linda one more time so i'm just like oh my goodness so the thing is we truly are here at women unlimited trying to help the small businesses and we we totally get it but this is just not for small businesses they are um, a ton of businesses that they do have a grand office, but it's downtown. It's on the south side. It's on the west side. They want to be near the airport. They have a lot of business here. It's a great location, too. So, yeah, it's a great location. So it doesn't matter if you're a small business or a big business. Women Unlimited is for everyone, let me right. tell you. Right. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity. So even if you think, <clears throat> I'm going to do a weekly podcast. Well, first of all, hopefully there's an opening for you each week on the schedule. <laughs> so you got to get on the schedule so you could have this weekly podcast or this week, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> blog or whatever. <clears throat> so now we're talking 250 to 300, right? That's right. <clears throat> to work your business through here, which to have the podcast space for that price to really get that kind of exposure for your business, you can't you can't do that on your own for that kind of money. It's cost you more than that just to buy the equipment. So, and you know, <clears throat> look at this smile. I I am so excited to be able to do that because I'm in the zone of loving what I do. So, it, of course, it's very easy for me and you to come live to you guys. We're talking about social media. We're we're both excited to do what we both do. So it's very easy to just press the play button and just talk about our business. So when you love what you do and you truly love what you do, you want to shout it out to the world. The world is on social media, so it's not, 
you know, There's I really I, no excuse. Yeah, there really is no excuse. Everybody has a phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we go too, we're already over, but that's okay because this is all very good information. So tell us what you have coming up with Women Unlimited. You've got a lot of great things coming up that's op that are open to men and women. Some of them are right. So we time. have uh, we have um, an event coming up at Precinct Four, and we'll go ahead and we will get your uh, we'll get the information <laughs> and we'll put that above and below uh, for you on Facebook. But um, we are going to be um, doing an event um, uh, with Cat Brown at Precinct Four, and oh, it's yes, talking about uh, at, for the folks who don't may not know. Yes, for <laughs> Constable Cat Brown, um, she is at Precinct Four, and we are doing an event on ethics business because ethics. that's right, business ethics. There's so many people that that oh my God, there's there's question after question after question when it comes to working your business, um, and we were like, you know what, let's just get all of those questions and let's get everybody at the same place. This is going to be from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Did this I mention Saturday, it's April 30th, this, Matt, yeah, March 30th, March 30th. Mm -hmm. And um, it's absolutely free. It's just for you guys to come on down. We're going to have some speakers. We have a ton of tables that, um, you know, businesses just like you are. Is this outdoors or indoors? It's going to be um, outdoors. Outdoor event. Okay, so 10. And 10. we are inviting vendors. Mm -hmm. If you would like to be a vendor, please get a hold of me. Now, everybody has my number. Late. Everybody has my number, so I'm going to go give it to the world again. It is 210-296-8968. We have many, many events, and I go to our vendors with Women Unlimited or Southside First. Um, it's zero cost for you to go out there. You get to keep all of your money, and that is what we love about some of our events, is that we will do something like this. There's no like charge this. to be a vendor. That's right, so, and no charge to South be there. Southside First, I just thought about this morning, so Southside First will be there as well, right? So we're going to set up a table and share a tent and talk to small businesses about how we can best support them you know maybe some of them need to be brought on to the podcast because what they have to say is important that's right for the small businesses so it's a great opportunity <clears throat> all the way around that's right so we hope to see you guys there again it is going to be at um precinct four and it's going to be with constable cat brown okay Anything so else? then we have another event right over here and it's called the glow and grow social so this is another networking event we have this one's just for women this this one is for women now the one for saturday <laughs> is everybody. is everybody you know it's for men for women just definitely come on down going to be a lot of fun but it's a learning tool this um event that we're having on saturday is all about giving you guys great information that if you're in business that you definitely want to know then we have networking events so that you can meet as many people as you possibly can. We totally want to hear about your business. And the way to do it is to get in front of a ton of people all at the same time. And that's what we help you guys do by having these events. Now, this is going to be um, coming up April the 27th. We are on Eventbrite. Please follow our Eventbrite at Women Unlimited or you can go to our website again at womenunlimitedsa.com and sign up for this. Now we do have the Honorable Bear County Clerk Lucia Dominic Clark. We do have the Honorable Stephanie Boyd, Judge Stephanie Boyd, and then of course we do have um, Precinct Four Constable Cat Brown, all coming in as motivational speakers. And then we have, do you know Lawana Chambers? I know. So Luana. yes. <laughs> so Tactic Growth Strategies um, is her business. She's coming out also. You know, she has grown her business. She's an entrepreneur just like us, so she totally gets it. So she's coming very in. Knowledgeable, with, very knowledgeable. Yeah, very helpful. You're very, very. So mm -hmm. definitely, we're bringing all of this um, at the end of the day. Great information for you you totally want to show up we have and we're not going to go over all of this but this we we okay we're a little busy okay we're we're a little busy providing you resources that is what women unlimited does so we are having a huge resource fair here at our location may the 9th thank you so much to julia martinez with um cps, CPS. and that cps to business CPS, business to business, is how business they help you business. save money if you're a business owner. Even if you business out of your home, if you do your business out of your home, they can help you save money. There's a lot of people that said, well, I didn't know that. So definitely you want to get to our website. Uh, but, you know, like one of the biggest things is, you know, just to start 
just just start just get out there and every single Thursday from 11 to 1 o'clock here at the Women Unlimited headquarters 11 to 1 we have business owners anybody that wants to come today right now I think we have about 40 people here mm -hmm. and we it was free we just invited them to come and network we um, actually we're giving them a free class right now uh, we had our podcast if you want to be on our particular podcast for women unlimited please just reach out I've already given you guys you know my that's number free, so there's really no excuse there that is absolutely <laughs> no free excuse for not getting so, your business out there. so we <laughs> get it I myself is a uh, is a small business I have two businesses if you can get that paper behind you oh my goodness yes so oh, here we go yeah here we go so I am in the um, Express News um, every single Sunday for a good month because I'm getting ready what does that say I'm getting ready for a class couponing classes Bring your coupon buddy, and there's Brenda. Yay. The new classes. This is the San Antonio Express News. RSVP at mysa.com backslash coupon. And you do this year round with them. day. What, what oh, day? Sorry. What time? Sorry, we got Saturday, April 6th at 12 o'clock here at Women Unlimited, and we got Tuesday, April 9th in the evening at Amity Bank on Southeast Military Drive. So, if you're a Sunday subscriber to the paper like I am, you'll see Brenda. That's right. So see this smile. I love what I do. So, you know, you love what you do. It, it's, you know, we, we came, uh, we're talking about a lot of things, but, you know, at the end of the day, it is all about putting your social media out on what you love to do. So if you love your business, which we know that you do, this is why you're in that business, then again, just, you know, keep that in your head, keep that in your mind, and let the glow come out of who you truly are because you love what you do let the world see that everybody deserves to see who you are you deserve to make the money um and it's like it is it is about a lot of things and it is about making your money but at the end of the day um your purpose right it's all about your purpose it's about your business it's about helping people to purchase what you have how does that make them feel so many people are telling me for my business, which is Women Unlimited, thank you so much. We love what you do. Continue, Brenda, please continue to bring all of us together. You're definitely helping in a huge way. That is me, and that's what keeps my smile on. What keeps your smile on for your business? Again, think about how you are helping so many. And again, just don't shout it out to yourself. Shout it out to the world <laughs> by going live. And I think, in, you know, I'm the idea person. Whenever we get together, the ideas start flowing. So and maybe I should share this offline. But anyway, uh -oh, what here I was we go. thinking was is that, you know, to, to have a motivational type workshop that just gets women in that space to get them over the hump kind of a thing. That's right. Be great. And when you could call it, you can combine Let it with this. Let me write that down. You can combine it with this, and it could be called Grow Your Glow. Oh, <laughs> Grow, grow your, your glow. glow. Oh my right? God, I can add that. This is what happens when we get together. Why do we put so many more projects on? We just need Magazine, 10 minutes with radio each other. Show, you know, okay, it's all good. So anyway, there you go. So thank you everybody for being with us today. And we went a little over time, but I think it was very valuable information. And well, I'm sure we'll see Brenda again, but I just wanted to get her on here to talk in general about social media. But I'm, I'm glad that you got to talk more about Women Unlimited because that keeps me from having to bring you back again. Well, and show. you know what? We definitely have the resources for you when it comes to social media. So uh, we can't wait to meet you. Please try, you know, to make it down here. And again, you see what we are doing. And it means a lot to me that you brought me in today. Um, and, you know, you see all of the resources and it's people like you that, that help put us out in a big way on what? On social media, guys. <laughs> and, um, and, and it is fantastic because before you know Know it you yourself will be working with other businesses at doing something like this helping each other grow collaborating because that's the other thing is collaborating is key sometimes to growing your business and I think a lot of times too you got to keep in mind the stuff that you're scared to do that you're out there trying is actually inspiring somebody else so just keep that in that's mind. that's a really well. good one I mean you'd be surprised if you're inspiring people so just just Keep going. Keep growing your glow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us this week, and we'll see you again next week. All right. So Linda's going to go around, and she's going to turn you guys off. Now you're behind the scenes, but do us a favor.